So I finished my solar roof and there will be a full tutorial how to here with less than a euro to for, for one solar panel uh, with this uh, nice idea uh, but uh, I need a rainy day <laughs> to really verify here the idea with the green foil below uh, and so uh, this will have to wait and as it is quite windy I uh, have uh, I continue with here my uh, vertical wind turbine uh, project and to reduce the noise of these airfoils I want to uh, thin in them, uh, cut them on, on, on the edges and therefore I now have to decide whether uh, the orientation, I really have uh, no idea if this, oh no that was not so nice, so I have to glue it again. Uh, uh, just to show this, that's the next step here and uh, so here uh, making a spacer uh, I can um, get a repeatable air, uh, a angle here for cutting them and so uh, the idea is uh, to cut the outside uh, so, and, and may even uh, add uh, some cotton slices to f combine these two uh, to, well, to reduce uh, the, the turbulence and yeah here that's another this other project with a simple FLC which uh, unfortunately is not really moving uh, forward that speed with such a speed, speed as I would like because the other two guys they, they have other priorities and it, it's basically already working but but okay uh, yeah the idea is to, to mount here uh, uh, a flat and H uh, the, the, the middle of the H and then a left and right uh, of these and, and to, to today I want to talk here a bit about my understanding uh, of, of, of how to, you see, should it be that way or, or, or should it be, be this way? I have not really, uh, don't really <laughs> have the full uh, understanding and uh, the exact how. It, it, if you just Google all the signs then you don't really find <laughs> Uh, a simple proof uh, what is the perfect angle of attack and even if it should be this way or that way and and so yeah and imagine this is a sailing boat and this is a sail and so the wind is coming from this direction and and then you uh, would immediately say okay it's not uh, that way that you should uh, put the sail it's not that way it's not that it, it's that of course you see and then the wind here goes uh, the, the, the back side, has to travel a longer way, therefore there if we have a lot of pressure than, than this one and therefore you have a force going in, in this direction. And that's why the sailing boat is moving that way. You see, so you, you, that now you can always, when you, because here with a with a vertical wind turbine, it's, it's uh, the angle of attack of the wind is always changing, and, and and so it's quite easy then to imagine the sailing boat. Yes, and um, one thing I take for granted some, somehow, and, and again, I don't really, this is just my approach, and if you have some ideas, you please share them. Uh, the idea is that um, Without wind, you should not change the wind molecules um, at, at all, and, and at least as less as possible. And therefore, you see, the, you have here if this is uh, uh, the, the center and this is a circumference, sense, whatever the radius, then the end and here the tip uh, the, uh, should be on the same circle. You see, and, and so now it looks like this is a asymmetric aerofoil but if you um, just consider that this, um, this is a curve then this here has basically is a symmetrical um, profile because of, of, the, of the radius yeah, and for example if you now would put it this way or if you would uh, 
well, if, you see, that's uh, how I say, okay, here points, and that should be the angle of attack. But it's a bit outside, you see. So if you but say, oh no, it should be that way. But then if you see, uh, then the wind molecule that is here uh, um, just above the line would be pushed outwards. And that's what we not want, because then we would have additional um, pumping of air with, 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 with no effect. And so that's, that's the first thing I somehow take for, for granted, you see, uh, first and end should be on the same line. But uh, as I said, uh, I still do not even know if it should be this way or that way. <laughs> Intuitively, this is the most uh, symmetrical and usually the uh, um, Darius uh, vertical, they have a symmetrical profile, which turns into an asymmetrical because of the curvature. And so now let's see where, um, how, how this thing is. You see, if, if, if it really uh, makes a, a force forward, then it either is going in this direction or in that direction. And now suppose the wind is come from that way. Then if you here remember the, the sailing boat, you would immediately say, okay, yeah, it should be this way. Uh, because um, the speed here um, of a vertical is uh, three to five times the wind speed. So let's assume um, this thing will, uh, in the end will, will turn four times faster than the wind. So if the wind is coming from here, then um, this um, ring will see it coming from that direction. And this is just as we saw with the sailing boat here. So um, the wind has to go this way, longer way. And, and therefore, uh, we will have a drag forward. And so it should be that way. Uh, but if you now make a 180 turn and now we are in the back side of the wind, uh, then uh, this wind is coming from here and uh, relative uh, to this uh, moving thing, it will come from there. And well, that's not <laughs> as a sailing boat. It still uh, will work, so it, it has to move a, uh, farther away outside. Uh, so there will be uh, a drag to this direction. You see, um, force moving forward, but it's not so ideal. And you have more turbulence because this is really not the way it should be. That's why I had this uh, animation very old of mine that it would be better if the profile would change its <laughs> its form into this one. But uh, then he, you see it would have to change back. And uh, my idea is uh, you have to decide uh, where do you want to harvest uh, the most energy? It's in front or, or in the back side? And I think the... Um, uh, Say the, the answer is uh, better uh, do uh, get the most uh, when the wind is still very uh, non turbulent and and so here um, better put your profile uh, this way so the, you can get the most uh, uh, energy when the wind is still moving very nicely and here it will have already created lots of turbulence and and so we might already forget about this anyway. Yeah, and therefore, you see, it's it's this. It's counterintuitive. It it should be uh, um, the, the flat side should be outside. Uh, okay. Uh, another thing, uh, because here I said here that's bad because of the turbulence. But uh, there is another idea. You see, if you have it uh, like this, and now suppose uh, it would be really symmetrical and the wind is coming from here, then you will, would have no effect at all. Only uh, uh, resistance, so it's, it's don't really harvest energy here and there, uh, because you see even here it's, it's four times plus the wind, so it's five times uh, the wind resistance, and here it's uh, four times uh, minus one, it's, it's three times uh, the resistance, but still uh, no good. But if you have such an uh, aerofoil, then uh, if you would still have, uh, you see, the, the, the wind would now be pushed inside. Um, you can imagine this, you see, you get a drag uh, like an aeroplane uh, moving outside. And so, but if you keep it here, then, well, uh, the wind is like a fan is pulled inside. 
So here the wind is pulled inside. And if it's if wind that normally would not get affected by uh, the wind turbine now gets sucked in, uh, I could here uh, at this place, um, you see, um, have a positive uh, additional effect. So this, in fact, would be a way to increase the speed's limit. Uh, the beats limit is uh, something like uh, this, uh, this, uh, the phase that's uh, uh, the area that gets harvested, and there's only um, 40 or 50 no, 50 percent. Because if you harvest too much energy, well, then the wind simply moves uh, outside, and you, so you cannot harvest 100 percent, only a, a part of it. But here now, with this, is it, it might be uh, good and. And if you now say, okay, uh, if you have uh, it that way, uh, then uh, there will be um, pushed inside and or the wind would get outside. Uh, and so here, um, outside, so wind would, would, would have a negative effect. But if here you get it outside, then well, the wind inside here uh, is accelerated. And so there's a drag inside because here, uh, here, the, uh, five times and here uh, three times wind is sucked out and therefore here wind is accelerated uh, and and so uh, this would um, be uh, positive for here because then you can harvest more energy and I think uh, in, in aerodynamics uh, aerodynamics it's um, you the sucking effect is better than um, pushing because this is compressible air and pushing something and uh, obviously it's turbulence where if you suck out then here this will uh, lamina <laughs> will uh, nicely increase in speed and so there um, this is another um, aspect that this uh, putting the this aerofoil that way uh, is positive you see it has on three pos uh, positions have a positive effect and the last thing, uh, because this is very confusing, and I really make it because, well, it's another step here in my <laughs> project. Uh, but uh, you, you might have uh, more insight than, than I do. Uh, if you have it that way, then the wind uh, is, is, is going this way. It's here. It's faster than there, so you have a, a get, a generating a turbulence. And if now here this is the edge, then you have here a, a turbulence going to nowhere, which makes noise and, 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 and it's costing a lot of energy. And, and so the, that's the idea that um, above I bend it to the inside and I might, might even combine them so that the two vertexes, uh, turbulences might uh, somehow cancel each other out uh, but uh, I think they do not cancel so you see here it's counterclockwise and and and, and on this way as I said the wind is going um, that way because wind coming from here so you have a clockwise uh, turbulence and and now uh, I don't know if I can show it so it's here it's a clockwise and here counterclockwise and so if this now uh, it, it's that way and here it's that way so they both add to the same um, <laughs> uh, rotating turbulence, tur tur turbulence. And, and so I don't really know how this works out and you might also say okay here it's, it's going like that and so it's always uh, like a fan um, pushing out. Is it pushing? Yeah, it's it's sucking out air, which is what we like. <laughs> so uh, here air coming inside and here uh, going um, outside, and that's why it's good uh, to to if if it's this way. You see, uh, <laughs> if it's the outside, um, because. Then you can bend these uh, turbulences, which somehow would cancel each other out somewhere, and you would lo lose the energy. If you bend them to the inside, then you have uh, a fan that can suck out air, and also on the top side, it's, it will also uh, go this way. And uh, 
yeah, it will suck out air. So, so to, to the top and bottom, and this will increase the, the, the air flow from the inside. But if it's the other way, uh, then it will, would push. Uh, you see, that's uh, this idea. It's a wing. It, it would like to move upwards. It's, it's held, and therefore the air uh, gets pushed inside. And so we will compress air inside and block the flow. And that's why, you see, that's so how, how I try to understand. I think uh, this is the way to go. Yeah, even if it's counterintuitive, still you say, okay, here, um, but I don't really know if this now is still is, is correct. Yeah, but as you see, a molecule would still end up at the same position. It would, um, you would be sucked inside a bit, but then pushed out again. And here it would be pushed outside uh, to the inner again, but then uh, relaxed to, to, to the same position. And, and so, um, yeah, I think that's... <laughs> I think that's the way to go. Uh, but uh, this really um, decides whether I have to cut here this side or, or the other side. And, and so uh, maybe I will wait in, uh, 24 hours for you to, to, to tell me if, if it should be uh, this way uh, or, or that way. Yeah, thank you.